Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly singles a love reading for Scorpio. Two-part reading, first part, those of you who are dealing with someone, you want to know where things are going, if anywhere. The second part is those of you who have no one around and you want to meet someone new. Okay. This card here and this one came out, yeah. Someone here is moving kind of slow. Yeah, someone's dragging their feet. They're going so slow, they're almost going backwards. And we had the eight of wands. So it looks like some of you kind of in that energy have been there, done that. Okay. Now this could be a person who comes back after a long period of time. Okay. So I do see things speeding up. Possibly this person could actually start to speed up here. Yeah, we got someone doing some thinking. This is someone who had some negative thoughts and energy, feeling left out in the cold. It's an energy of someone who has a lot of negative thoughts, self-fulfilling prophecy. So someone been dragging their feet. Yeah, this is someone who's they're trying to manifest something here. I do see a little Gemini energy. Okay, Libra or Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, this is someone with some negative thoughts and energy, and kind of low vibrational. Now we have the Queen of Pentacles. Could be yourself. You could be the King of Swords. So just take it as it resonates. But, you know, I feel this is just someone who's kind of in their head a lot. Okay? So there's, I feel this person's trying to think about what to say, how to communicate. Okay? They're trying to figure out how to communicate here. But it also has to do with this person becoming kind of confident about something here. See, but there is definitely an energy of lack and loneliness. Now, it could be, you know, maybe they don't have a lot of money. They're focused a lot on money. So maybe they have a few insecurities or they just feel, you know, maybe they're not good enough or they're just not ready for something here. So, yeah, Queen of Pentacles. This is an energy of someone who generally, you know, grounds themselves and looks into the future if you see yourself with this person, okay? So be a little cautious of someone who may manipulate. But I, I feel it's actually a person who's trying to manifest. They're trying to go slow. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's yourself too, you know. You know it's kind of taking things slow. We know the Queen of Pentacles often does that. But I actually feel there's someone here you're looking into the future. You're not so sure if you see yourself with this person. You know, there could be a little baggage. Okay, someone with some baggage here. See, it has to do with someone be taking responsibility being responsible. I feel like you're going to try to do the right thing here. Yeah. Yeah. So there's been somebody here. There's been some deception, some dishonesty. See, mind games, manipulation. And it, it, often it's a person, like I say, they sometimes feel like they're not good enough or they don't have enough money. This person's actually very smart. That's why I feel like they kind of have some kind of strategy or plan. They may be manipulating a little. So just a little caution there. Okay. Don't look at the genders on the cards so much, okay, uh, with these readings, because you can still flip them over. Let's have a look at this Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, so there's someone here keeping secrets or just feeling a little bit confused, okay? So they could be hiding something, but often it's just energy of someone who's a little bit confused, and they kind of slow down a little bit. Yeah, they may not be sure how you feel, but I see you looking at it, feeling a little confused, Feeling like they may be hiding something, see? This is when things start to become confusing. This is where I feel it, it, you know, people start to have the trust issues. Now, I do feel possibly mixed messages. Somebody may be being kind of wishy-washy here, but to me, it looks a little bit more like trust issues. They don't trust, okay? Like they aren't trusting. So, yeah, it's almost like the blame game, you know? <laughs> Yeah, there we have it, the magician. See, we've got that here twice, manifesting. You actually have all the tools you need to manifest what it is you desire. You may actually have other opportunities coming in. You could have, you might actually have someone who's ghosting you, feeling a little confused, okay? You're looking at it. So it's possible you've manifested that there's somebody else coming in, somebody new. Um, the magician is also the energy of someone new. But just look out for someone who plays mind games, tries to manipulate. Because if you are feeling confused, you know, like I say, you know, feeling off. See, it's an energy of looking back, feeling a little beat up, feeling like giving up. See? But when you're just about ready to give up, here comes somebody. You know, I feel like it's an energy of the birth of something new. So there it is. There's something new. You have everything you need. Okay? Just stay in that Empress energy. You know your worth and your value. Okay, so don't give up. <laughs> yeah. 
you feel like giving up, but I feel like you're, you know, it's an energy of being open here. Because I actually feel like you, I think you know too. You have everything you need. You're manifesting life. You want love. You want someone, okay? Somebody in your life here. Yeah, see? It's an energy with someone with a little bit of ego. So I feel there's something that wasn't successful. You don't see it being long term. Because there's just a lot of confusion. And we know when things, it gets uncomfortable when things become confusing. So I feel like you're looking at it. I don't think you see a future with someone who's moving way too slow. Okay, It's almost like they're going the other direction. Yeah, we have an emperor. Now look at that. This I actually feel, I'm going to be honest, someone ghosting you, ignoring you. Okay. Yeah. It's also someone here I feel their pride's getting in the way. They may not have a lot of money. So it could be something like that. We know the empress can be kind and compassionate. I feel it's an energy where you tried to make someone feel comfortable. Okay. But now it's you feeling uncomfortable. Now we have an emperor. So who is this emperor? Yeah, so this is the baggage, the burden. See, somebody here lifting the burdens, pulling their weight. Someone here didn't pull their weight. Now, I don't know if it's someone who has a lot of debt and they're actually paying it off. Because it does look like someone here has some kind of a plan. They're strategizing and analyzing. Okay, they're doing a lot of thinking. This is pride and ego getting in the way. I don't think this person's actually a quitter. I don't think this person's going to give up. So whatever it is, they're not a quitter. I can tell you that. It does look like it's the same person. Now, because the emperor is often somebody very logical, okay? Somebody who kind of thinks things through. They strategize and analyze the situation. So it has to do with, um, I, I wonder if this person had a lot of debt they paid off. The burden's being released. But you can see this energy. So there's something about money, finances, and long term. Okay. It's also an energy of someone who's dated lots of people playing the field and hasn't really had anything long term. Okay. It could be someone who always blames the other person. So just, just so you know. Yeah. I feel like you're just open to new options. But the interesting is you have an emperor here. Now this is generally someone who's manifested life. So it has something to do with manifesting their money, paying off debt. So that may be the last thing this person's going through and I'm surprised the king of pentacles isn't here because it looks like they're you know someone who doesn't have enough money or they you know maybe they're pri or maybe they feel that way about you I, I you know I got to tell you it all has to do with communication when people don't communicate clearly and openly and things start to become confusing it's an energy of someone here having to face some kind of fear okay doing shadow work yeah, this is someone keeping something hidden here. Tell me about the magician. Yeah, see, thanks, but no thanks. It's not good enough. Now, often it's a person who rejects someone hoping that they'll chase them. And I don't, the empress isn't chasing, so I don't see you chasing this person. Okay. Yeah, it's like when you're just about ready to give up, I feel this person's coming towards you. I don't think you're going to go for it, though. I don't know why, because I feel like... I just don't, I feel like it's made you uncomfortable or they blamed you for something, blaming you, gaslighting, blaming you for what they do, you know. So you got an emperor here that's got a lot of pride and ego here. And it doesn't look like it's a healthy ego because I do feel they have a tendency to manipulate. It's like that, you know, it's like you're manifesting life. I see it. You, you've learned the lessons. You're at the empress this person's at this stage where i don't know if it's debt finances or what it is but they it's an energy of someone who doesn't pull their weight or they're blaming you okay or they just feel burdened or bothered by something um, they have trust issues because it has to do with chasing maybe because something to do with money it could be someone who acts like they don't have money but they do okay seeing if you'll still come after them yeah, so there we have someone single. See, some of you rather be single. You've kind of given up here. See, you're looking out for yourself, looking out for number one. I feel like you're just changing your focus onto your house, your home, your money, okay? Taking care of yourself, staying very balanced. I feel like you're being calm. You're staying very grounded here. And that's a lovely energy, see? That's, that's the thing that you've manifested here is you're learning to be sensible, practical, and take your time. Yeah, now we have the Queen of Wands. Yeah, you know what you want here. You're not settling. You'd rather be single. I see you being very independent. Now, that could be an energy, too, where somebody, you know, sees you as very independent here. 
I'm surprised the King of Cups doesn't come up with this because I'm getting a vibe of someone who feels they need to be needed. <laughs> Sometimes people are like that, you know, they pride their ego. They like to be a good provider. Someone feels they, you know, or you want somebody to provide for you. You don't need anybody to provide for you. You have what you need with the Empress. So, yeah, and there's, yeah, there's something new cooking here. Like, I don't know if it's another person here that you're leaving behind who doesn't pull their weight, and this is someone who does. We'll see. So Sometimes it's debt. Somebody works multiple jobs, and they have a lot of debt, but they still feel they don't have enough money. But an emperor generally is self-made. That's why it almost feels like they're keeping a secret. They, I actually feel there's someone who acts like they don't have any money, but they do. So let's have a look at the Ten of Wands. Yeah, it's an energy of someone chasing, see, becoming decisive. See, you've got someone here. You've got this energy of a person, you know, they know. They're, they're wise. They know, okay? They're very clever, maybe even educated, self-taught. This is someone who's very good at figuring things out. But, you know, now we have the Knight of Swords here. So it has to do with thinking things through, not rushing in and changing their mind. Someone has rushed in and possibly changing their mind. But it's about thinking it through, choosing the battle, something that's worth fighting for. I don't feel this is someone who wants you to get away. I don't feel they want you to get away. But they played some kind of mind games. I feel they're trying to get you to chase them or they're just sending mixed messages and you're getting very confused. So... Five the swords. Don't chase whatever you do. <laughs> Don't feed their ego, okay? Feeding the ego. Yeah. Five of swords. Oops, I lost that card. Oh, there we go. Yeah. See, this is someone who tosses the breadcrumb, drops a little hint, and then they kind of change. This is someone who's changed their mind here, but, they, but they're changing it back, you see? It has to do with... Um, it's an energy of someone taking responsibility or feeling responsible. But I also feel it's someone who has a lot of burdens. They have a lot in their plate. Uh, maybe they just feel like somebody, you know, it has to do with whether someone pulls their weight or not. The Empress always pulls her weight. The Empress is creative, focuses on money. It's a person who's balanced. Like, you, you know, yeah. I don't know what this person's thinking here, but, you know, that page of Pentacles tells me it's an energy of someone kind of breadcrumbing, dropping a little hint. You see, they're looking at the details. A lot of focus on money. So I feel it's the way this person communicates. They send mixed messages or they're just not clear. So, yeah, see, moving away to avoid a disaster. It's also an energy of someone who doesn't often take a lot of time to get to know somebody. They judge them uh, too fast, you see, before they even get to know someone. But I feel with yourself, I honestly feel some of you have that, you know, you kind of been there, done that. You've been through something like this before. I don't think you're going to settle. I feel like you're changing your focus. You're very, very independent right now. Okay? And you're moving on to avoid a disaster. But I got to tell you, this person could be someone who comes back around to make peace. Uh, it could be someone who has baggage from a past relationship. Okay? They could be keeping it a secret, maybe not telling you. They could be coming in to make peace with their past. Yep, yeah, they're definitely in that energy. See? They're, they're, they are a strategizer. They are someone who has a tendency to overanalyze. See, it had a little Libra in their chart. I feel it's an energy of uh, justice and balance and being fair. I actually feel this person feels that you're not being fair. Like, I feel there's the blame game going on here. Okay? But it has to do with this person coming in right, treating you right, and being fair. I feel there's you've been this through this before with someone who didn't treat you right. Someone who may have been manipulated. I feel like you've been through it before. That's why I feel, you you know, that feminine energy of the Empress. You're not going to chase this person. I feel they're trying to get you to chase them. They're, you know, it's confusing, sending mixed messages. I can tell you they see you as confident, charming. Okay, somebody who's grounded, sensible, practical, very balanced. Yeah, see, now all the queens are here, see? This person, there it is. It has to do with their emotion. You may have had a lot of feelings for this person, but it's mixed messages, okay? Mixed signals. I mean, maybe it's yourself, or it's like you're blaming each other, but 
whoever this person is, I feel there's, you know, baggage from past relationships. It's time to release it. And it is a 10. So it does look like the burdens are being lifted. I mean, it could be just two people getting something off their chest here and communicating. It has to do with someone's intention, see, wanting to know what their intentions are. They may not be what it seems either, too, because when it becomes confusing, see, it has to do with taking something to the next level. This is someone who changes their mind. They come rushing in quick and then they change their mind. Now this person's feeling more confident because the King of Swords is here again. So somebody just can't seem to make up their mind here. Now it could be someone who's rushed into a relationship before and it wasn't long term. So there could be left a lot of baggage, maybe even a lot of debt. So it could be their pride getting away. They may they may act like they have more money than they do as well. So <laughs> the runner, yeah. Let's have a look at the Queen of Cups. There you are, Scorpio. Yeah, you. I'm gonna tell you, I don't see you settling here. I feel like you know what you want. Okay, you're not afraid to go after what you want, but I don't feel like you're chasing this because you've been through something like this before. It's like you're recognizing this. Yeah, you want a partner, someone you can count on who's stable. You see, mixed messages and, and there's trust issues here. I feel it's baggage from past situations where you, because you've been through this before. But with the Empress, I do feel like you're open. I do see the beautiful healing energy. Okay, you're kind, looking on the past with kindness, compassion. So you're releasing your baggage, you're letting it go. I love that energy. You're very good at that. Um, you know, but I also feel you are not a pushover either here, okay? You're absolutely not a pushover. You just want someone you can count on and rely on, someone who's there for you thick and thin, something long term, okay? Like I say, there are some trust issues. I, I and I, Maybe it, it, something is offending you or making you uncomfortable because they don't trust you. Because what I see is a person who's trusting, you see, I actually see this energy where you, you trust, you don't see things the same. And then all of a sudden, you know, that you have this realization that they don't trust you and it's making you uncomfortable. I feel like you've tried to make them comfortable. But now you feel that way, being with this person. So, you know, I don't know what's happened here, but I feel you just wanted someone you could rely on. You wanted something long term. You see, the one, see, choosing the one. Some of you felt this person was the one. Yeah. Tell me more about this emperor. Tell me some more about this emperor. What's going on in this person's mind? They're, they're hard to figure out, I gotta tell you. Is this the energy of this person? Yeah, something to do with their house and home, marriage commitment, their financial foundation, and what makes them happy. See, some kind of judgment. See, this is someone who may have judged you from something they did. You see, that's often a person a little, it may not be gaslighting, you know. I mean, generally, emperors are, are mature, but I feel it has to do with this person figuring out what makes them happy. There's something lacking. I actually feel this person's very lonely, but something to do with the decision. Now, it could be a past decision, okay, or maybe they judged you and made some kind of mistake here. Mis it could be misjudge, miscommunication. So maybe they've misjudged you. And it could be yourself too, because I can see this definitely flipping this over. You know, there's something bothering them. Maybe they're burdened by this. They judged you wrong, okay? Or they feel that you were judging them. I don't know. Did they share something with you? I don't really feel they did because I see the lack. Now, I don't know if this is someone with a lot of pride. They don't have money and act like they do or it's the other way around. But it's often just someone who's very lonely, living alone, you see. But they're looking at what fulfills them emotionally, what makes them happy. Now, any time you spent with this person, I feel they were happy. So I don't know, but something bothering them. Yeah, this is someone trusting their intuition, their inner knowing. person's got some baggage it's a secret they keep it to themselves yeah but there's that moment that's why i felt i could see this coming that moment where somebody goes aha i get it you see the truth so someone who i feel this is someone who should have told the truth they judged you i feel somebody judged you okay it's like they misjudged is what it's telling me. And it may even be both of you because you I feel you both have a little baggage here. 
okay but it's about both people taking responsibility okay putting it behind and leaving it there and never bringing it up again so there's something that needs to be resolved but you know it has to do with you choosing the one now you're i feel you're kind of having second thoughts here about whether this person's right or if you can trust them because if they don't trust you how can you trust them i feel like you have this trusting energy especially with the queen of wands showing up the queen of wands is often very trusting okay somebody who kind of just you know focuses they're pretty straight up says it like it is you see so if someone doesn't trust you i feel you know they're it's bothering you it has to do with marriage commitment or someone just not treating you right you know but it, I, I actually see both of you having some baggage from past relationships that need to be resolved. See, two people talking, sharing your feelings, sharing your innermost fears. See, it's about communicating it, sharing it, drinking from each other's cup, seeing eye to eye. I actually feel this is an energy where this could is something that could be resolved. Okay. So whatever this is, but you know, it's an energy where you're not chasing. I mean, maybe you chase this person at some point and maybe they kind of, because of that, they didn't trust. So don't chase them. Okay. Uh, the Empress generally doesn't chase, but it's like this is happening before in the Empress energy. So yeah, tell me about the Empress energy. Uh, this person's looking for clues, looking for answers. They're shining a light. They're going, aha. See, this is, I feel this is a person who, I mean, maybe, you know, there's an energy of the Eight of Wands. Maybe they felt a little overwhelmed. I'm surprised the star isn't here. I don't even think I've seen the star. Um, but, you know, it's interesting because I, I feel it just has to do with two people taking responsibility, okay, and some kind of a decision. Somebody, there's an energy of someone who judged. This person's kind of judgmental. I feel they misjudge you, and I do feel they're contemplating this. Yeah, see, they're exploring their feelings and emotions here. See, they're catching some feelings. Yeah, they're, this is someone who kept feelings to themselves. See, they judged you. Maybe... From, for something they did, you know. Uh, and I don't feel gaslighting. It's almost like they, whatever it is, it's bugging them. I can see it's really bothering them. It's weighing them down emotionally, you see. But I actually feel it has to do with the decision, the judgment they made. They feel, It's about taking responsibility. I feel it's both people taking responsibility for their part, okay. And I do see the two of you having a conversation here. See, the King and Queen of Cups connecting emotionally, sharing your innermost selves, your fears. You see, things that you keep hidden, your innermost selves, your secrets. I mean, maybe you're not that comfortable with it or maybe you're more comfortable with it than they are. I feel you tried to make them feel comfortable. but Because I do feel like it's like they're moving really slow. They're very hesitant, you know, they're looking at the details here. A lot of focus on their finances. Yeah, but see, there it is, connecting. Some of you might hook up, you might go someplace public and have a talk. Okay, now there could be gossip or talk. Okay, other people involved as well here, so there could be something there too. But I definitely can see some positive news coming in. Yeah, see, this is a very curious person, but it's also someone who doesn't tell you everything. They tell you, it's not what they do tell you, it's what they don't tell you. Little Libra energy, and it looks like it's connected to the emperor. But they are in their feelings. I mean, this person is definitely in their feelings. I mean, maybe they're just trying to, you know, the last thing this emperor needs to do, it has to do with letting go of their baggage, okay? Mastering the element of the king of cups, mastering their feelings, Instead of manipulating, you see, just being more open, being, you know, being in their integrity, being in touch with their inner self, too. So, yeah, it looks like a little bit of a challenge. So I do feel it has to do with choosing the one. Now, it is possible some of you could have another person. I do see the birth of something new. I do see the possibility of another person very curious about you, someone in your social circle, okay? Yeah, 
Yeah, but it has to do with how someone conducts themselves publicly, okay? Their morals, their values. So it has to do with being on the same page. See, how do you get on the same page with someone who doesn't tell you? There's the secrecy. They're not telling you everything you need to know. Something to do with their marriage or a commitment. I mean, it could be just plain old fear of commitment because of a, um, something that didn't work out. Often that's exactly what it is for most people, you know. It's an energy of needing to let go of that. Yeah, see, taming the beast. See, you're not feeding this person's ego. It's also an energy of someone. This person also needs to teach someone how they need to be treated, but it's an energy of being kind and compassionate. You see, looking on the past with kindness and compassion. Being strong and being confident. See, it has to do with this person. I do feel they are becoming more confident. Yeah, see, but it's about investing. See, waiting patiently, hoping this pays off, being patient. Some of you, what you need to do is learn to be patient. We know that Queen of Wands energy. It is part of the Empress, so maybe that's the last thing you're working on is learning to be patient here. But I feel like, you you know, you've kind of got your eye on this energy where I feel like some of you are just not focusing. You're no longer giving them attention. So maybe their ego is taking a bit of a hit. But I do feel they're doing some, you know, little inner work here, getting in touch with their inner self, their, their feelings here. That's what I feel this person struggles with. I do feel it's all this emperor energy. Yeah, see? Putting their best foot forward, planting the seed, building the foundation. Maybe just being friends first, spending time together, getting to know each other all over again for some of you. But this trust issues needs to go. The mixed messages, the mixed signals, miscommunication, and also misjudging. That's what I feel. There's some judging going on here. Maybe someone's, you told somebody something, you felt comfortable and told them a secret and then they judged you. Okay, maybe you feel that way and it's made you uncomfortable, but you can flip that. Okay, so definitely take care. I actually feel that's an energy if you, this patience will pay off. Okay, just being patient here, waiting for the right time. This is someone waiting for the right time to talk to you, maybe to invite you out or introduce you to their friends and family. Maybe the timing isn't right for someone. Not everybody does everything the same. So, yeah. So maybe that's the energy where you're waiting patiently and now you're starting to not trust this, okay? That this person has your best interest at heart because I feel you've been through some of this energy before. So, okay, so I'm going to do the other part of the reading here. So yeah, so it's saying just patient a little bit longer. I do feel this is somebody, I do think this person sees you possibly as the one. You know, I really do. <laughs> I, I just feel as though they're, this energy of lack and negativity that they need to let go of. I feel they're very lonely. I feel this is someone who wants love. They need to get out of their head, that's for sure. The analyzing, the strategizing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, those of you who are completely single... No one around and you'd like to meet someone new. Single Scorpios who'd like to meet someone new, what do they need to know? Yeah. Trust issues, carrying on from the other reading. See, letting go of those trust issues. Yeah, so this is definitely an energy of a little bit of fear, unfounded fear. You need to let go, okay? It's unfounded fear. Some of you are going to have some have some trust issues you need to let go of, okay? Now, there could be some kind of regrets or something here, but it just looks like a lot of anxiety over trust. You know, you've got an opportunity coming in. <laughs> You're going to look at this. You're not necessarily trusting it, so there's a little anxiety here. You see? Some of you may have trusted somebody and then they played mind games or manipulated you. But there it is. You have a solid offer coming in. It's reliable. Yeah, so something you've waited patiently before. Stop investing in this energy, okay? This is an energy where I, you know, it's a need for a little healing, but like I say, it's about grounding yourself, looking at this pentacle, okay? This has to do with you looking ahead. You might not even see this coming too. So it could, you know, like if you have issues trusting, okay? I do see a lot of unfounded fear because it's solid, reliable okay yeah some anxiety 
Yeah, there it is. Moving away to avoid a disaster. Just taking your lessons learned. It looks like you're moving on. You've learned something here. So I do see things just kind of calming down. Yeah, you've got an opportunity here. Okay, so you're going to look at it and take your time. Yeah, I definitely see the energy of the Ten of Pentacles. It's an energy of um, partnering up, someone stable, reliable, dependable, someone who's there through thick and thin. I feel like this is what you want. Okay, I'm just going to leave it at those right there. I don't want this leading to run on too long because honestly, I'm getting kind of, it's getting kind of late. <laughs> Yeah, well, you've learned some lessons, but I do feel it's an energy of just kind of calming down. It's a lot of unfounded fear, and that's when you ground yourself. See, You're looking into the future, you know, kind of looking where you see yourself here. So it's telling you to be patient. It also has to do with whether to invest or not. See, putting the shoe on the other foot, okay? But it's also an energy of taking a pause, looking at things from a different perspective. So I see a whole new perspective once you move away from this energy just take the lessons learned leave the things behind that no longer serve okay you see yeah scorpio little pisces energy here yeah you might actually have somebody coming in you might get a little bit of a shock or surprise yeah it's also that epiphany the tower coming down the sudden realization See, this is where the patience pays off. You know, I feel like something sudden here, some kind of offer. I feel this is something kind of throwing you off guard, to be honest. Yeah. If you have a hard time trusting, okay, there might be something here where you just need to kind of uh, look at it and deal with it. Yeah, see, I see thanks, but no thanks. Now, some of you could be missing opportunities here. You might miss an opportunity because of trust issues. have a look at this five of swords you could be missing opportunities yeah see there's someone here that um someone burned you here i can see it um, aries leo Sag, somebody who played mind games or manipulated some of you i do feel some of you get a little bit of anxiety here you know but it's like i say unfounded fear with this solid offer let's see where this ten of pentacles is going yeah, see things speeding up, multiple opportunities. It could be this is also an energy where it becomes a little overwhelming. Okay, where you're just not so sure. You could be missing opportunities though. You see? Could be someone who actually feels that way, has regrets, you know. Um, so like I say, I it doesn't really feel like someone coming back around. It feels more like you're moving on. But it is possible someone making peace with their past. Yeah, I just feel there's anxiety. I can actually feel it a little bit here because it's thanks but no thanks. It's not good enough. I actually feel some of you get a little bit emotionally drained when you get into that energy. It Trust is the hardest thing to overcome, you know, to be able to have faith in someone. But I also see this energy of been there, done that. So... Yeah, I feel like you're just going to deal with it here. And I do see other opportunities coming in. There'll be other opportunities, okay? There will be other opportunities is what it's trying to say. So let's have a look at this Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, see baggage from a past relationship. Somebody who played mind games, manipulated you. Just ground yourself, okay? Now, this could be masculine. This could be yourself, Scorpio, the masculine energy this could be in, okay? Just so you know you can flip it. Queen of Pentacles, why is this here? Yeah, someone single, see? Looking out for yourself, looking out for number one. Definitely you're taking care of yourself, enjoying the fruits of your labor. So there's some good positive energy here. But I definitely can see the energy of moving away from something. Been there, done that. Thanks, but no thanks. Yeah, some of you got your, you know, like I say, not so trusting of anyone here. But I like the fact that you have this you know, Ten of Pentacles, financial stability, opportunities coming in. There's always more opportunities. There's the birth of something new. I'm starting to feel like I needed to pull out some other cards here because it was feel, starting to feel like it was just going nowhere 
there it is see this is the healing giving your grounding yourself giving your chance yourself a chance to heal you're definitely thank you but no thank you okay if someone isn't solid or reliable if this person comes in to make peace i feel you're not into it okay and it definitely could be but i actually feel you have another opportunity yeah so i oh there you go oh thank goodness i don't like it when a reading ends up with nothing <laughs> I mean, sometimes in a week there is nothing going on, but this is, you know, opportunities coming in, feeling a lot happier healing. So I feel like you're ready to get yourself out there again anyway. And I do see offers. I do see some kind of date. See, it's like I say, there will be other opportunities if you miss this one. So, but if you have fear and anxiety because of a past situation, and if you do miss it, don't don't worry about it, okay? Especially if you've been having trouble trusting you know, it happens, but yeah. And it's possible you have someone who feels they missed an opportunity, but I really don't think you're going to go for it. I feel like you have another one. Yeah. Yeah. See the healing. This is the energy of the healing, clearing out negative thoughts and energy. Some of you have taken a break, you've been a little bit drained, you see, but this is where the thoughts that were pinning you down. Okay. If it's not yourself, it's this other person. So yeah, see, it's an energy of the one, choosing the one, doing what's right for you. Someone feels they missed an opportunity. Let's focus on the one. You thought this person was the one, and then you to only find out you couldn't trust this person. So yeah, there you are, grounding yourself. You're looking at the pinnacle, this offer, this opportunity. See, it's solid and reliable. It's about being dependable. It has to do with a guarantee. It's like you're at this point where you need a guarantee or you don't trust it, okay? But the Empress tells me that you're more open. You've healed, okay? You've mastered the elements of the Empress here. So this is, you are ready, definitely ready to get yourself out there, okay? I see, just see a lot of happiness coming your way, feeling happy with this opportunity. Just take your time. Okay, look at it carefully. Do you see yourself with this person? Okay, but you know what I feel too? I also feel don't look into the future where it's going. Okay, just enjoy the moment I feel. Okay, that's what I feel like it's trying to say. Because we know the Queen of Pentacles likes to look into the future and kind of plan and prepare ahead. Don't plan and prepare ahead. Okay, don't look into the future. Just sort of live in that moment. Just enjoy that emotional contentment, this happiness. Okay yeah see there you are yeah see it's a beautiful healing yeah you're gonna i i feel like you'll take this cup it's an opportunity to start it's just the beginning of a situation i don't know who this is going to be though or it's just your energy where you heal where you're open to this yeah no you got someone who wants to date you cancer pisces scorpio yeah very nice trust your intuition you might know who this is but it looks like they could be uh, Pisces, somebody with Pisces in their chart. You know, someone you probably know or they know about you. Yeah, yeah, someone different than your usual type. See, some of you may have a type. See, if you keep dating the same kind of people and the same thing gets happen, you do end up with a lot of that heavy weight and burdens. But I feel it has to do with, you know, I actually feel like you're releasing this. I really do. Moving forward, taking the lessons you've learned. You've learned some valuable lessons here. So that's why I feel like you kind of, you've got this because the Empress is here. See, tempering your passions and tempering your emotions. See, just being patient here, not looking into the future, just kind of dating. <laughs> yeah. So someone here, I feel, that knows everything they need to know anyway. They're trusting their intuition. I feel it feels right. It feels okay. Yeah. It feels pretty good. Yeah, it's a little bit of a test. <laughs> yeah. So sort of testing the water, so to speak. See, not looking into the future. That's why that card came out. It came out that way for a reason. Because of the Queen of Pentacles. See, now it has to do with something feels right. This feels right. It's just, it's fair. This is someone coming in right. Okay, but I do see you looking at if this person's right for you or not. But I think it's a little bit of a test. I feel like, you know, um, you're just going to try something different here and not plan and prepare ahead. 
You see, not look into the future and visualize yourself married to the person. And maybe that's something here where you get very high expectations and then there's a big disappointment. Yeah, very nice. Okay, I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave you with this positive energy. Just trust the inner knowing. But I actually, I feel like you might know who this is. Okay, but I feel like it feels right. Okay. Yeah, justice and balance. This is yourself staying very balanced. I feel emotionally as well. So this is a little bit of a test, okay? <laughs> very tempting, whoever they are. But they just want to date. They're just coming in. They're just exploring their feelings. And, you know, be patient. Give this person a chance to, you know, get to know each other here. Okay, They actually could end up being a pretty good fit, especially when I see these two together. You see? Very nice. Do take care. Wish you the best. Bye for now.